Hey everybody, it's Erin Reed from Erin Reed Makes and welcome to my card swap inspiration video. So a few times a year I run a card swap where people send me cards, I swap them around and then I send them back. And for 2022, the first swap I did was Anything Goes. So for this video, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you all the amazing cards that have come in so far because there's still a few cards left to come in for this for this particular swap that are all about uplifting, positivity, feel good kind of cards. Welcome to the show. So if you're interested in joining any of the future card swaps, this one is over for now. You can click on the link down below. There is a chance for you, or there's a link to join a Facebook group or where I run all my card swaps. And you'll get to be on one of these awesome videos where I show some amazing card ideas. The whole point of this video is to showcase all these amazing card makers. So their links for those that have given me links to go back to their social media are down below and to give you inspiration so you can make some amazing cards for yourself. So let's get started with the very first one. So let's get going here and welcome everybody who's on. Welcome, welcome. So, whoops, I got my little manual focus on. Let's get rid of that. Think. There we go. All right, hello everybody who's on. Okay, so this one is from Chris Janess. Welcome, welcome. And I have a hello everybody who's on here. So here we have some awesome cards. I love these because it's two ways of using the same die. It's kind of a change on things, which is really cool. So here we have a basic card stock. And what she's done is she's taken a die and cut it out with white. So this whole gradation here, it looks like it looks like a Doppler effect or it's like a gradient right here. She's cut in white. On this card, what she's done is she's taken all the pieces on the end. So this all these yellows and oranges and reds. It looked like she had done some sort of like she had a gradient color or something. And she took the pieces from the inside and used over here. So there must have been another alternate set of cards with white, you know, and another one that had all of the gradient. But I just love how they're like opposites or positive and negative. And then she's taken a die cut piece and laid over top. This one says hugs with a few little hearts. This one's got some ge gems on it. It says hello. And then for this one, she's taken some washi tape in this beautiful color and added it to there. Now, I do see that Sandy is on and she said that she was, she joined. It's okay. Don't worry about it. It's all good. It's nice to know to watch, but welcome everybody who's on. So I'm looking over here because I'm watching comments. So hello, Debbie. Hello, Sandy. Welcome. Welcome. Okay. So beautiful, beautiful cards. I love it. It's an A2 size card, just beautiful, but I love the coloration of them. She also made a couple others. So these are also from Christian S. Very pretty. And I love these. Now it's really hard with my light. You can kind of see when I turn it, but look at the embossing on the front of this. So she's just taken a cream colored cardstock and then run it through and let the embossing do the hard job. You can really see the embossing folder on this one because you can really see it pop. This is more of a subtle and again, my lights are really bright so you guys can see stuff, but it's really subtle here. This one's got more of a pop. She made it more of a frame, so it's not the full length of the card. Added a beautiful little hello here in gold with some gems. And then this one's in kind of like a pearlescent hello, but really letting that embossing folder do all the heavy lifting and all the hard work on these cards. So awesome job. I love all the inspiration you guys give for cards. All right, our next set of card, or our next card idea, this one is from Donna. I love these ones. Look how beautiful this is. So here we have a card and she's even decorated the inside. So she's taken a white cardstock and she's just done some ink blending in blue, a little flower that she's stamped, colored and die cut out along with the leaf and then replicated the same flowers on the front. So it's these little clusters of flowers. Some she's popped off. Some of them have little buds hanging there and then a beautiful hello stamp and it says hello, sweet friend. And then some little I think she's done like some nouveau drops or some perfect pearls or something like that. And again, with the ink blending and the whole front cover is also popped up as well. So it's got this beautiful kind of layered pop here. Very gorgeous. Another card that she did is just a little note. So a little positivity. That's what all these cards are uplifting, something to kind of get your, make you smile when you look at the card. It's just because that's what all these cards are about. They're all just about just because we want to send you something. She's replicated the same thing on the inside, a little butterfly on here, colored in blue to match with all the butterflies that are beautiful and blue on the front cover. We have black mat with white, another black linear mat with the gingham in blue, which is beautiful. This beautiful die cut circle with this little filigree, butterfly in the middle, a couple extra butterflies, the ribbon that's also in gingham blue, and then a little note that's been popped up in black. Gorgeous. I think these are absolutely gorgeous. 
I'm so inspired by all the cards that you guys make. I think they're fantastic. All right, this one is from Maria Strusi. And again, if I said the name wrong, I'm so sorry. So here we have one, and I love it because it's kind of a different opening card. You could make a card that fully opens, but this one just opens part way. It's like a, a half fold. So it's kind of a fake out card in a way because she wanted to leave this banner really beautiful and open. So she just glued these two sections together. She made sure she scored right here. So this front panel opens. We have, and this is just cardstock, but you could totally recreate this with stamps and dies if you wanted to, or coloring, or however you wanted to do that. But it's the paper, a beautiful hello. So it's just got this gorgeous linear, and then a little banner right here with some ribbon and some twine, which goes all the way around, which makes you realize, oh, you can't open the whole thing. But I just think it's kind of cool that it's such a different opening card, which I, I love. I love the different opening cards. Maria also made a couple of shaker cards. One just says sending happy mail. I love happy mail. Everybody does. This one says hello. Similar concept, just changed up the sentiment on there. So here we have a full window or a full panel shaker. So she's popped up the entire section, lots of fun stuff. And then just added a flower on top with a little hello. This one's got a ribbon. This one's got different shapes for putting the sentiments on there. And it's just really pretty. The background papers, this one she's picked purple. So she matched the purple stamp. This one's got a blue with the leaves on the inside. So she's matched it with the blue stamp here. A little bit of shading on this corner. Just, you know, it's good. Little pearls. They're just so pretty. And then because this one's got a blue theme, she matched it with a blue color base of a card. And because this one's kind of purpley, she just inked the edge in purple, but she put it on a white cardstock. Oh, and this one says sending happy mail on the inside. But it's a shaker card. They are so fun. And that one she's left plain. Super pretty. All right. Another gorgeous one. This is a great card for using up your scraps. Hello, Mary. Welcome, welcome. So this is on a blue cardstock base, white insert, so you can write your elements. This card is from Kathleen McDowell. And what she's done is she's taken a whole bunch of sheets of paper. They probably came from a paper pack, maybe remnants left over from previous cards. And she's cut them into strips and she's cut them all exactly the same width. You could also do this card if you wanted to do them in different widths and then just laid them down and glued them on the front of the card. And you get this beautiful pattern paper. And then she just took a couple of die cut elements and placed them on top. And it says, you make, my, the, you make the world beautiful. And then a little bicycle down there. Gorgeous. Couple others from, also from Kathleen McDowell. And this one, I love the purple on these. They're so bright and per, like beautiful and just vibrant. And they're similar cards, but they're different. So what I mean by similar is that she's taken a focal point for this one. It happens to be this beautiful image of the butterfly with the flower. And this one is the beautiful flower paper. And it's got like this metallicness in the flowers. And I was trying to figure out, like, did she stamp this? Was this paper that was already made? Regardless, it's gorgeous. It does not matter if she's made it or if she's bought it because it's beautiful. I love it. And then she's done it on this big, bold purple, really matching with the colors of the paper or the image. And then just a little sentiment that I believe she's either stamped. I think she stamped these and then just did a rounded corner. She probably had one of those dies that makes the perfect length. Maybe it was a whole bunch of different sentiments that has the die that goes with it. So works out nicely. It's really pretty. And then for this one, a little extra added something. She's embossed the purple paper right behind it. And then just to make it pop even more, added the white mat behind it. So simple card. This one opens this way and this one, same thing. And then because this one's on a purple card base, she's added the white insert on the inside. So welcome everybody who's gotten on. Hi, Rebecca. Hi, Danielle. Hello. Hello. All right. Another couple of cards. This one is from Teresa Jones. They're similar, but different again. This one is just playing with layers. So we're playing with layers with pattern papers and also with some like, um, and just some die cuts. Sorry, lost my train of thought there for a second. So this beautiful lace paper in the background. This one's just a little bit of a different color of a blue here. And then she's played with layers of circles. So I'm guessing this circle already came, but then she die cut another circle. So I made a mistake and originally thinking this was some sort of sticker or something, but she's taken like glossy accents and then added the drops, but then also add the glossy accents to the actual butterfly. So it makes the butterfly pop. Isn't that cool? So yeah, the YouTube chat delay is awesome. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. It's all good. Roll with the punches. Roll with the punches. So beautiful cards. And again, these ones are from Teresa Jones. So thank you so much. And welcome everybody else. Thank you everybody who's gotten on and then showed everything. You got to love the lives. So we got Wendy, Debbie, 
Kelly, everybody who's on, welcome, welcome, welcome. Thank you, thank you <laughs> for telling me my oopsie of the day, which is the battery didn't want to function. It's showing me it's charging now, so I don't know. All right, let's move on. All right, next set of cards. These ones are from Becky Baker. And I pulled out, she did all of them the same. They're all very similar, let's put them this way. So they're all very similar, and I really wanted to show you guys the amount of same design, how many ways you can take a card and tweak it up and change it up, but you have the same design. So first of all, she's taken a beautiful set of pattern papers and she has just played with them. And either she's used it as the full part of the card. So this one's the full cart and then full part of the card, rounded the corners and then use it. But some of them, she's also done like a double mat where we have a solid color and then we have a mat, solid color mat. This one, she's done pattern paper, pattern paper, which I think is beautiful. So there's no wrong way to do this. Lots of fun ways. All the cards have a rounded corner, which I think is really fun. So either this is a die or she ran a rounded corner all the way through. This is a really cool technique on how you can make your cards like that. She might have hand cut them as well. I don't think so because they're a little too perfect. My guess is this is a set of dies. So there we go. <sighs> so I think Debbie's in there going, turn on live chat, smash that like. Thank you, Debbie. Look, she's so sweet. <laughs> she does lives too, so she understands all the crazy that can happen. <laughs> all right, so then what she's done when she's got her background, so she's got her background cards, sometimes they're black, sometimes they're white, and they're all just like plain on the inside, which is gorgeous. And then she adds her main element. So it's again, this filigree element right here where she's got the high stamp, just wanted to tell you high, or it could say smile. And then for some of them, she's just done a single border. So for this one, like smile, it's a pattern paper, but it's a banner underneath to kind of make it pop. This one is a double banner. You can see it's got the pink and the pattern paper there. And then sometimes like, here's a stripe, here's a, you know, so they're all a little bit different, but they're all the same, which is what I love. So awesome job. Oh, and then we've got some little enamel dots on there, which are really pretty. So it's all great. Awesome. Awesome. Okay. Let's go to the next set of cards. Here we go. All right. This one goes by itself. So I always ask to put your names on the back. These ones are from Christina Matthew. That's why I like to show because I can never remember whose pile. So this one's from Christina. Absolutely gorgeous. She's taken a white paper and embossed it. Can you see that beautiful embossing on there? But it's got a pink background and then she's added a white so you can write and have no problems. Oh, you love the pattern paper on the pattern paper. Yes. Use your pattern paper, people. It is awesome stuff. This is another way to use some of your pattern paper. So now she's got the embossing folder. And instead of going perfectly square, she's off-centered this next rectangle. So now she's got this mint green, which goes with the papers. She's made strips. So it's made a panel inside of the, the rectangle here. So made the strips a little bit of a gap. It's kind of hard to measure. So you just have to use your best about having to measure them out. Then she's taken one of the die cut pieces that probably came from the same paper pack or paper set glued it to the back of this peach paper and then fussy cut around it to get a beautiful mat to make it pop off of there. So this is a great way if you were like, I want to use pattern paper, but pattern paper on top of pattern paper, usually you need some sort of separation. This is a great way to do a separation. And then just a little sticker on the corner. Good vibes only. It's awesome. I love that card. Another couple here are from Christina Mathy. So these ones I call similar but different. So if you kind of turn it this way, you can see what I mean by similar but it's just turned on its side. We have a card. This one happens to be pink. This one happens to look like wood grain, like dark wood grain. I think this is actually card came that way. Look at that, isn't that beautiful? I love, so it's like a card set. It's gorgeous. Pattern paper here, she's rounded the corners. This time, going vertical, she's turned it sideways, and so she's turned it into like a little garden. So she's added this strip of green here, which looks like it's got grass because she's added that punch on the top of it with the flower element. I think it's the same paper or very similar, probably same paper pack. And then this time she's added the element of, this is a die cut that's already like this and it says be happy with this little blue banner, a little element right here, a little gem. I can't tell, yeah, that's actually a brad. Guys, pull out your brads. You've got, I know you got them. I know you've got brads in your stash. Pull them out, use them. Use what you have on your supplies. Use your pattern papers. Use your stuff. These are great cards. All of these cards, I bet you have most of the supplies in your stash already to recreate. And the majority of the cards, just change up the colors. I bet you have stuff. I, I, I challenge you to use your stuff and create one of the cards you see today. It's my challenge to you. All right. <laughs> so here we have... 
well, sorry, last one here. And then this one, she's just used a sticker, rounded it around a circle and says, hello, sunshine. So I love these uplifting cards. Be happy. Hello, sunshine. They're absolutely gorgeous. Oh my gosh, Debbie, you were like going, blowing up the channel, creating members and doing all kinds of stuff. <laughs> Thank you. All right, here we have Anne Marie. I love this. Not a Hallmark made with love from Anne Marie. I love how people have all these different um, like elements on the back. Some people have simple stickers Some people have stamps. They're so great. Oh, see, Mary, you do. You have like, you have brads, even mustache brads. <laughs> We all have like all these crazy brads. I mean, I tend to go for the most simple ones, but I love the jewel ones. Use them. Find ways to use them. They're so cool. Um, they're great hinges, just like you saw in that card. They anchor things. Pull them out. Use them. You got them, right? All right. So this one is a beautiful scene. I absolutely love this one right here. So this again is by Anne Marie. So we have a blue background, just a plain blue background. And then she's done all of these die cut elements. So it might be stickers. It might be pieces that she's put together. So here we have, sorry if you're hearing like crazy noises in the background. My son is home, not feeling well today with an upset tummy. And my dog is like, Ooh, there's somebody else here. And he hears my voice all excited and happy. So the dog, I don't know if you can hear like they're kind of very quietly, but not 100% quietly playing in the background. And they're just, they're having fun. So <laughs> yay lives. <laughs> all right, back to the beautiful card. So we have a lighthouse, which is all paper pieced. Even this element, it could be a sticker, but this feels like, I don't know if this is a sticker or what, but it's absolutely gorgeous. Little birds up in the sky. These feel like velvet birds. They're so pretty. This is just because little sailboat, paper that looks like it's ocean sand which is just you know taupe colored paper a little sea star a little umbrella it's so cute i love this and then it just opens up so gorgeous all right the next one here now some of you may have heard of a company called and i don't know if this is what she's used but it reminds me of it a company called kiwi lane kiwi lane is a company that sells all these really cool templates. And I've had a couple of shorts that I've put up about this where you trace, it's a plastic template, you trace it and then you just cut it out with your scissors. And it looks like some of these templates where you can layer them on top of each other. So you just take these, temp take these wavy lines or you could hand cut them, fussy cut them however you want. And she's just taken a whole bunch of fun different wavy lines here, layered them on top of each other. So we have the basic paper, which is the watermelon here. A couple of wavy lines in light pink and then a couple more in the dark green to make it look like it's a watermelon. You guys get that? It looks like a watermelon. It's so fun. And then it says, you're one in a melon. I love it. And then a little bow at the bottom. Really cute. This one, instead of having all the elements on the outside, she's put them towards the inside. So pattern paper of the dots. Then one big wavy element here, which is the stripe. The smaller wavy element here, which is the roses. And this one just says every moment matters, which is probably just an element from a paper pack. And then pop that behind the blue that you see right there. So really pretty. I love these standard A2 size cards and they're absolutely gorgeous. Fun, fun. Great way to use pattern paper. All right. Another couple from Anne Marie. I had to pick these because they were just so cute. I love the pie. So this is a, oops, that's, no, that's right. I always think, so this was just my mind thinking that going some way, like I always think that these little elements have to be facing downward, but I love that they're facing upward because I usually see them like this, right? Where the fish tail is down, but it looks really cool where they're facing up. Turn it around, do it a different way. Don't always do the exact same thing, which I think is fantastic. So again, a great way to use your pattern papers. She's used the same pattern paper pack here, where she's used three panels. Here she's used a single panel. She's matted. So these are three separate panels, which are on the what was lack of orangey color background. This one, she's just used a strip right here. And then she's matched it with the yellow and then a little banner at the bottom with the pie right there. And it says, you bake my day. I love that. A couple little flowers on there too. And those are really cool flowers. They're like plasticky kind of. They're really fun. And then this one, a little banner, once we've placed our panels on there, a couple little like, they like Nouveau drops, but they're clear. It's one of those clear drops they have. And then the cherry, and it says, glad you're in my life, a little cherry pie there. And then the fishtails are the opposite way that I would have thought to use them, but I think they're absolutely great. I love it. And then for this one to pop, the white one, she's just added a pen marker to it, which is one of the tricks I love to do. I love to trace in black pen to make it pop. So super cute cards there. Another one from Anne Marie. Again, a great way, and this is a this is a card that really shows 
how to use your pattern paper that is double-sided. So she has taken rectangles and she's folded back the corner here to make it pop. So you make a square on the inside. So she's folded it just perfectly that it lines up to make a perfect square. And all of these papers here are double-sided because you can really see it was this on that side. And then she's used a little foam dot to keep them in place. And then just a circle in the center that says, hello, beautiful. So if you're ever like, oh, it's got gorgeous pattern paper, what do I do? Like, it's I, I don't know what side to pick. This is a card that you can do that really showcases both sides of that beautiful pattern paper. And you could do all four different. You could do all four the same. There's no wrong way to do this card. You could change up the circle to be an oval. You could make another square. You could do a stamped element that's like an animal or something. And it's really cool pattern paper. So it's an awesome way to really showcase that paper. And then she's just matted it on a pink, matted it on the blue, matching the mats in the circle in here, and then a little banner on the inside. Isn't that pretty? Great job. All right. This, another one, she's gone. She's like, I love all the techniques that she's used. They're awesome. This is the napkin card. So if you take a napkin and you peel off all the layers, the very, very top, top layer has got the pattern on it. You use, you can use decoupage, you can use sticky paper. There's lots of ways to do this. And you stick the, the uh, napkin to the top and it creates a pattern paper. And this is a beautiful example of that. Look how gorgeous that is. It's really pretty. And then all she's done is she's added a little banner down here in white, a little pretty piece of like washi tape or a sticker right here, a little butterfly. And it says this, act, this is a random act of cardness. Sorry, I had a heart because I want to say random act of kindness, but it's not. It's a random act of cardness with a little heart, which I think is just absolutely beautiful. And then she's matted this onto a blue card to match the blue in here. So that's the banner that you see in the blue. And then just added a white mat on the inside. But that's a really good example of a great way to make one of the napkin cards. All right, moving along. Here we go. Here we go. We got more people. There's so many people in this card swap. And if they have links, they sent me a link to their uh, social media. Check down below. The link is down below. There's like three or four people that sent me their links to either Instagram or their Facebook. Um, so check them out. I forget. Um, actually, I think Janet was one of them. Janet Craft. I think she was one of them who had a link that I posted. So I believe most of them were to their Instagram. So check them out. They're awesome card makers. If you are ever part of the swap and you want to add your link to for me to link back to your social media, just make sure when you fill out the form, you actually put the direct link. Because if you just put Facebook, I'm like, I don't know what your Facebook is. You got to put a link. So heads up on that. All right. So this one is from Janet Craft, and she even put in here, she's got a YouTube channel and she's a fun, fun this is going to be okay. Fun to graphy makes <laughs> link is down below. You can find it. So that's a fun one that I did. All right. So this one I think is awesome. She has done a bunch of masking and every she had all of her cards were this similar pattern, but they were very different. I mean by different is like different scenes, different colors, but the concept was the same. So she masked her card and then she did ink blending, sometimes in blue, green to pink. Sometimes it wasn't horizontal. She did them vertical. So she changed it up. She made the, the ink blending match with the stamp color or a stamp that she was using. She rarely colored in her stamp. Maybe just added a little bit of something like here with the gold, but she let the background ink blending do the job of the color. The only thing she added in addition to that, for instance, besides the ink blending, because she'd ink blend and then stamp over top, is like his hat went over. So she went back and she colored in the hat or the butterfly went over. So she went back in and colored the, 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 the butterfly, the top of the house, the door went over. So she would color that in. She didn't do the leaves. She didn't do that, but she did the main part of the door because otherwise it didn't make sense. And then at the very bottom, she heat embossed in a beautiful gold. It says, you are the best. You are loved. You are worth it. Beautiful, uplifting, inspirational cards. And then little hints of gold. So this is with a little bit of a gold pen. So the little bobber and then the reel. Here we have some little extra parts down here, the butterfly, sorry, the dragonfly tail, his antenna, the center of the flowers, and then some noodles sprouts down here at the bottom. See that you can just catch that shining on there. And this one, it was the doorknob right there. So little, little tiny things on this, and they are absolutely gorgeous. I mean, I, I'm totally inspired by these cards to think outside the box and use my stamps differently now because this is amazing. And just think you could do ink blending. I think she used oxides, but whatever you have that's an ink blending, I think would work beautifully for this. It's a great way to 
we always talk about smashing our paper, like, you know, scrap busting, like really getting into your paper and using it up and using all the scraps. Well, this is a great way to pull out your stamps. So stamp busting was the best way for that one. This is perfect, especially those bigger stamps. They have designs and backgrounds. This is a wonderful idea to really use those ink and all those ink colors that you have and really get out and use those stamps. I love this idea. This is great. <laughs> so there we go right there. Awesome idea from Janet. And again, she may not have been the one who started the concept of the card, but she really knocked it out of the park, I will have to say. All right, these next cards are from Michelle Gonzer, and these are the same, but they're different. So I wanted to show you. She actually did two of these, but and I just brought, I pulled two because you can change out the sentiment that's on there. Um, what stamps can you make backgrounds? Oh, any stamp, any stamp you want. This is awesome. Hello, Barbara. Welcome to the channel. Hello, hello. All these wonderful people that are on today. Welcome, welcome. All right. So these are, I love this. I always tend to stamp on white paper, but these are stamped on craft paper, which makes the stamp look totally different, right? So this is a beautiful flower stamp that she stamped. Same one that she did here. And then she colored it in. And I want to say it's done with marker. And she's just hit the areas where it looks darker with marker. So where it seems to be darker, she's colored in a darker color and lighter color where it's not. Hello, Amy. And then this one, she's used a giant background stamp and then just colored all the cups. This one had, it says, coffee and friends make the perfect blend. I'm guessing this was a giant stamp, but I love the fact that she did it on craft versus white. It really changes the whole vibe of the card. Same with this. I mean, I love this color. It's, it really makes everything look so much different. We always go to white, but think of different colors. Think of cream, think of craft, they're awesome. This one she's popped with a black mat and it says practice kindness. And the other one she did says collect beautiful movements, which I think is beautiful. And then just on the inside of a craft paper. This one she actually put onto a black card and on the inside it says let's have coffee with little coffee beans, which I think is really cute. And then the actual stamping was done on the craft, so. Great way to think of using a different color. She really had a coffee theme here. I love this. So this is also from Michelle Gonzer. And sending, I mean, I'm not a huge coffee person. I'm, I'm a tea girl. I love my tea. I love my Diet Coke. <laughs> Those are my two things. And not cold iced tea. I like hot tea. I'm, I'm a warm, I'm an Earl Grey girl. Okay, got to ask. Coffee lover, tea lover, because I'm not a coffee person. I, I really don't even like the smell of it. So I'm a tea girl. I love my tea. Anybody, anybody, <laughs> anybody here in my tea boat? <laughs> All right. So these ones, these little elements with the bears, they are so stinking adorable. I absolutely love them. And it says coffee beans. I mean, I love all things coffee. I just don't personally drink it. So there we go. <laughs> so here we have a really cutie little bear, another cutie little bear. And she's just matched these. Okay, I'm going to say it wrong. So I'm just going to say die cut piece. Oh, you guys are going to nail me. I, at first, I, it's, it's one of those, okay. I have to play the fifth. It's one of those blocks in my head. And I know because I keep thinking I'm saying it right or I'm saying it wrong. And I know I'm going to say it wrong again. So, yep, you know what it is. You know my vice. There it is. That's my vice. That word, Debbie said it. I'm not even going to try. There it is. That word right there. And I'm going to say it wrong. So I'm just going to point to my screen. The word below that Debbie said, I cannot figure out how to say it. I don't know why. It's just, I, I I think there's like five different ways and I never remember which one's right, which is the stupidest thing. I'm like, this is what I do for a living and I cannot remember the word. How to pronounce it correctly is the right thing. So that word there, I'm not going to butcher it. <laughs> there we go. All right. So she's taken these die cut pieces, which are absolutely super cute, and then paired them with a coffee background paper. This one, she's just done a banner and she's done it in orange and it says, all we need is love and coffee. And then added some splatters to it. The same, same stamp, just different ways of using it. This one, she's also added a little bit of twine here and then just matted it on a craft cardstock, which is just really cute. This one, she's done it on black and added the orange on there. So, or it's actually a really dark, dark brown. Super cute. I love those little elements there. Anybody else have a word that just did just not stick in their head? I don't know why. Black tea. Yes, I love black tea. Black tea is awesome. I'm not a big fan of like a peppermint tea, but I love a good strong black tea. A little bit of honey in there too. It's perfect. All right. See, I, I knew there, I knew there would be tea people out there. I knew there was tea loving people. I guess it's like my British ancestry coming full force into me. <laughs> All right. Another set of really cute cards. These are also from Michelle. And we have a lot of cards left to go, guys. There's tons of cards in this video. 
I love that she's taken this element of the background paper and it's all these old fashioned cameras. We've got Polaroids, we've got old, you know, click and shoots, the old winding ones, like lots of fun ones, even the ones that are like long and horizontal. And then she's matched it with a stamp that she's colored and die cut out. And it says, I love your face or you've captured my heart. So such a fun way. It's like a throwback color. They're absolutely gorgeous. Matched them on the orange to match into the orange that's on here. And then just on an orange cardstock, really fun papers cute and then this one so we all have those pieces of paper or it could be you know from a die cut set but we all have those paper packs where you can cut them out and they have all these what i call project life cards we have a ton of them and they are already designed and perfect and they probably already have sentiments on there and they're gorgeous and this is a great way to use up those cards make really really quick cards a couple little things that you can do to really jazz it up like she has done She's matched it on a craft card stock instead of white, something a little different. She has also taken either a punch or a die or something and done this extra element right here, which really makes it pop. I've also seen where there's like a banner of a color right here. So it really offsets it. I mean, there's so many ways you can play around with that. Isn't that fun? And then she's added to match with the orange in this piece right here in this Project Life card is what I call it. Or like it's just a small little rectangular card. Just the Baker's Twine right here. And it's just, it adds that little extra element and it's such a fast and pretty little card, which I don't know about you guys, but I love fast and pretty cards. They're great. Okay. Oh, I missed one from Teresa. So this was another one from Teresa. I totally missed one. Um, this one is super cute too. So this is, I had it sitting right here. I must have, might've been when I was doing all the issues with my sound. I'm not sure. So this one, okay. Get the reference. I love you 3000. My son's, yep. Big smile on his face. I love you 3000. <laughs> so he's just sitting he's a huge marvel fan if you know the term and you can see on the card i love you 3000 came from endgame it's what tony stark said to his daughter and it was his way of saying how much he loved it. and it's turned into this, this catchphrase so this is all some really cute marvel people so there's iron man you can see all the different ones you I mean we got captain america black panther you can just list them all and then it says, I love you 3000. I don't know if this is a printout or a pattern paper or what, but it's super cute. I absolutely love it. Little heart there, which could be a Brad. See, little heart Brad's great way to use it. And then we have just some more. This has actually been embossed up here. This is embossing right here. And then some stars up at the top. Great card. I absolutely love this. Okay, moving on. Here we go. Um, BH. I did not write this name down and I do not know who BH is. If you know who BH is, let me know because this is her card. It is beautiful. I love the colors. I love cool colors, blues, teals, um, purples, anything that's kind of in this color range is my favorite. I absolutely love them. So here we have a black card stock. On the inside, she's added all of her things. Actually, this is a sympathy card. It should not be in this pile. I have a sympathy video. I didn't realize this was sympathy. I'm going to come back to this card because there's going to be another video with a different theme. This doesn't fit with uplifting. This is sympathy. Totally wrong. Sorry, guys. <laughs> all right. We're going to go with this one then. This is also from BH. Again, I'm sorry. I don't know who. I, could, I didn't write her full name, but it's from BH. And I don't remember. All right. So here we have friendship. Friendships refresh the soul. This was an anything goes card swap. So I have a lot of different themes coming in. This one was all uplifting. The one that we're doing now is all uplifting and positivity. So sympathy would just not fit. So I'll have to save that and use it for a different one. All right. So we have this blue pattern paper and this is a pattern paper here. And then on top of that, we have this beautiful, it looks like watercolor, but again, it's another pattern paper that she's matted with the white. We have the friendship, which has been stamped in green. And then it's on this really kind of fun, like filigree rectangle. It's really pretty dye. I love that dye. It's gorgeous. And then we have a little like tree with some birds on there. And it just says friendships refresh the soul, which is absolutely true. So gorgeous card, open it up and it's just plain on the inside. Very gorgeous. Another one from BH. Again, great way to use some of your pattern papers. Same card, but you can tell like there's little tweaks, there's little differences, there are little, you know, amendments to the card. For instance, this one, she put a couple of birds. This one, she's done an element to put the stamp on. This one, she didn't put the element for the stamp on. This one's a little bit narrower. This one's a little bit bigger, but they're all the same card in, in a lot of ways. So green card stock base, then we have a blue. And then for this one, she's added the blue or the pattern paper, beautiful pattern paper here, by the way. I love that pattern paper. It's gorgeous for both cards. 
added the strip to match the blue and now we've added a gray color in there and all the colors match really well. I love it because she's pulled colors from the pattern paper to match with the cardstock. A little pretty bow, again, that matches. And then You Truly Inspire Me is another, this one stamped directly on the gray. This one has been done in white and popped up. And then this one for a little something different, the birds. And then on the inside, it says Friendships Refresh the Soul. She's used the same stamp set again, which is really pretty. And then same thing with this one. So gorgeous, gorgeous cards. You guys inspire me so much. All right. You guys know me and my fun fold cards. These ones are from Connie. Gorgeous, gorgeous cards. And it's a really cool take on this card. Look at this. It opens up and then it sits. Isn't that cool? I love these cards. It's a W card. It's kind of a take on a W fun fold card. And she's done them in a couple of different ways. Look at these. So it's a card. So if I, if I was to fold this, this would open up. But this panel has been folded back. And then you just add this element and it folds right here. So when it folds all the way out, you end up having these two really cool panels. So it's a fun card. I forget the name of it off the top of my head. If you guys know it, shout it out. Let me know. Um, they all have names now, or there's probably like five or six different versions of the name. But there you go. Pattern paper in the background. Here we have a same pattern paper. So she's mad at that. The pattern or the cardstock she's used for this little pull element here, she's used on this back panel. And then here she's got a little pop-up kitty. It's adorable right there. This is the same idea, but instead of having the pattern paper in the front, she's used the purple with the purple. And so she's left the whole front panel as purple. And then the back panel is a pattern paper with a little die cut piece in there. Isn't that pretty? A little foily action going on. And then just to give another part of it, actually this whole thing right here is all of it. So that's not like a background with an element. This whole piece is part of it. So it's really cool. And there they are. Ooh, cool, cool cards. All right. She didn't stop at the bandwagon for the fun fold cards or the interactive cards. She made another one. And I believe this die is from Lawn Fawn. Um, and it's like it's a pull and reveal. So you stamp on this element and then there's a way to put it together. And then when you pull up, it reveals another one. So this one is you start with a caterpillar and then you pull up and you get the butterfly. And then there's a little frame that goes around the outside. So this is, I believe all of this stuff comes from Lawn Fawn. So if you're in, in, interested in this particular design of the pull part, I believe that's where it comes from. And then she's just added that onto a background paper and then beautiful and plain. It's just, it's a gorgeous little card. I love this little effect right here. I mean, it's really fun. She's done another version where this is a, so here we have, this one starts off with this. The squirrel is putting the acorn in there and it's raining. And then you pull it down. Ah, go down, go down. And you get the beautiful tree. So it's all just these inspirational things. I love them. And they're super cute. They're adorable. So I love those. And then she made some really pretty ones. So sometimes we get these really gorgeous dies that we're not really sure what to do. This one is a peekaboo die where it cuts out the center. So she just did it in black and she let, oh, magic picture frame. Thank you, Debbie. So that was, this one was called the magic picture frame. So it's like a pull and reveal. It's a magic picture frame. It's gorgeous. Thank you, Debbie. All right. So she's taken those peekaboo dies. It could also be done on a Cricut or Silhouette or anything like that. And then she's done it in black. And then the inside part, the peekaboo part, she's done it with the glitter. So it really makes that pop. And then just to add a little extra, some fun, because why not? She's added like a mirror board to the outside and then just let them be very nice and plain. You really don't need a sentiment on these because they look so cool. And she did a whole bunch of these. Some And each pattern on the inside was different. So it's a really cool way to do a card. You could add a sentiment, but it also just looks really pretty all by itself. She changed the inside color of the glitter paper that was there. So, and every pattern was different, but it was all the same basic idea. It's a peekaboo card in the middle with a little scene on the inside. And it's very pretty. Gorgeous, gorgeous. All right, and that was also by Connie. All right, next we have Kelly. And I believe Kelly also had a link to her Instagram, I think. I'm trying to remember everybody I linked. It was a little while ago I did that. So here she's done some ink blending. So I want to say, did I have another one where she did this? Yes, there was two of these. All right. At first glance, these look very different, but they're actually very similar. So the first thing she did is she went through and she ink blended. This one she did all in one color. This one she ink blended into a rainbow of colors. Next thing she did, actually, sorry. Let me take that back. First thing she did was she heat embossed. Very sorry. <laughs> so this one's a beautiful heat embossed with the butterfly with the flowers. This one's a little zigzag thing that goes all the way across. It's been heat embossed in the white. 
But then she went back into the ink blending. And I believe she used iron oxides just from the thickness of the color and just how um, kind of bold they look versus like the distress inks are very soft. These ones are very thick. It's a, uh, there's a better way of saying that, but you get the idea. And then she's ink blended on top, really letting that embossing, because they're really light colors. This is in a cream, this one's in a white. The only other difference that she did to this one, which was the very first step, which I didn't mention, is she actually went through, and I don't know if you guys can see that, but she used a um, like an embossing folder or a die cut that left all these little cross hatches on the card. So there's actually a lot of dimension to this card. At first glance, you just see the, the rainbow and you see the zigzag, but there's also like a little bit of a die cut in there. I don't know if you guys can catch that. It's very, very, very subtle. And when you see it in person, you can really see that. Then we have, you know, happy find a rainbow day. She had all these really cool ones with the little girl on there with the, the old lady all grumpy, happy find her. She needs to find her rainbow, desperately needs to find her rainbow. And this one, she's just on a hello that she's popped up. And then she's matted in pink to match with the hello on a craft card stock base. And then inside, she's put a little cat mint, a little sticker on the inside, I'm not sure. And then this one has oh, a little butterfly that she's colored in a rainbow color to find your rainbow. Very pretty. All right, this is a cool card. Again, you know I love my fun fold cards. Look at this thing. So this is a belly band that she's added this gorgeous stamp, and it's the I, there's it's the skull with the flowers in it. It's really pretty. It's really kind of cool. Just, you know, I'm in Texas. This is a very Texas Southern kind of thing. You know, Arizona, they're all kind of all over the place. So you pull the belly band off and then it's like a gatefold card that you open up. Isn't that cool? And it's just panels. It's a little bit of a longer card. So it takes up the entire length. You score here, you score here, you score here. Put your panel on the inside. This is the main part. Do you need a moderator to get rid of the trolls? It's okay. We're good. <laughs> It's not really, it's just some random stuff right now, but we're all good. So here we have some opening here. So as you fold this back, you add your panels here, which is in this really pretty pattern paper. And then she's also add the pattern paper right here and she's matted it in white to really make it pop and do the thing. So there we go. And then you add your little belly band, which she added the same pattern paper to. And on the inside, it says, when you take a flower in your hand and really look at it, it's your world for a moment. Georgia O'Keeffe. So again, a beautiful uplifting sentiment, which is gorgeous. And then you can add your belly band back on top, which you pop open, lightly place on, and then there is the gorgeous card. And the dark colors really make that stamp pop too, which is awesome. All right. So that is also from Kelly. Then she took the same pattern paper. And this is another fun full card. I love these. I love these. It's a box pop. Oh, I have it upside down. Hang on. Don't want to, and it goes, whoop, but it makes like a little box. Isn't that cool? And it's all just folding. It's all different ways of folding and then gluing different pieces in, in here, making little flaps. And so it can sit like this if you want to, but it's really quite cool. And then it kind of stays flat. You could add a belly band to this as well if you wanted to. Um, it's really kind of up to you. So there's a set of folds and I think this is like called like a uh, pull apart box card or something. There's all different names for them, but they're really cool. On the inside, we have a pattern paper and it says fairy wishes and angel kisses, the little fairy on the inside, all purple and beautiful. And then that pattern paper to really offset it. So gorgeous card also from Kelly. And then we have this one. I love this. This is another fun. She had lots of fun with fun fold cards. They're great. So you pull open here. Actually, it goes like this. Hang on. I'm screwing this up. There we go. So you pull like this. I love that. And I love how she's taken a whole bunch of different stamps and put them together. And it says, do not go where the path may lead. Go instead where there's no path and leave a trail. It's so like follow the road less traveled kind of vibe. Do what you love, art. She really made this card her own. Stamp the background, background in blue. Pull it open. And there's even more sentiments inside here. So here she's taken all these beautiful stamps. Your destination is never a place, but rather a new way of looking at things. Courage, hope, the butterfly. You know, smile and breathe and go slowly. Dream, imagine, inspire, create. I mean, she's really taken all these beautiful cards or beautiful stamps that she has and turned it into basically this almost feels like this. It's like an art journal within a card. All this uplifting sentiments, all these vibes and feels and turned it into this gorgeous card. And it's, I love the card pull. It's a very different take on a card because it feels more like an art journal, which I love, which is like, it's such a cool idea concept. That's so cool. All right. And then the last couple, oh, we got, we got a few more cards. We're not done. We got another pack, another pile to go. I love these because again, it's a great way to use up your pattern paper. 
fantastic way to use pattern paper. So she's taken a whole bunch of squares and rectangles, and you can see she's got one, two, three, four, five different layers here. For every square of pattern paper or every rectangle, she's done a mat and she's gone up a quarter of an inch on both sides. And then she's just layered it around. Did the same thing here, but didn't follow the same pattern. She just placed them down, layered them so you can see all the edges of every layer. So you can definitely tell like that's a full rectangle. Here's a full square, full rectangle, full rectangle. But you can see every element because it's got a mat to the back of it. Great way to use up your paper. And it's really a fantastic way to make it look like it's got a lot going on, but it really doesn't. It's just a lot of cutting. And then it's your happy day. This one says happy just because day, great sentiment. And then the top one, she decided to color it in because this is just black and white, but a really fun card. And this one opens up this way. And this one opens up same way, just like that. So, and look at like two different kinds of pattern paper, matted it with different colors. Totally awesome. I love this idea. It's great, great, great. All right. Next batch is from Shamika. I love this. Okay. There's a story with this card. I got to tell you the story before we do this. So I ran a card swap last year. I mean, I've run card swaps for a number of years. And for whatever reason, I, I, well, I have a PO box just for safety purposes. So I don't give out my home address. So I run all my card swaps through the PO box. Everybody makes mistakes, things happen. And that's why I always ask for tracking numbers and I'm try and if I have a tracking number, I can find it. Well, this particular package didn't have a tracking number because she used stamps. And so there was no way to track where the package was. I didn't get it in time for the swap. She sent me the money, I had extra cards. So I still got her included when the card swap. So she, and she did 10 cards this round. Then I think it was like eight months later, I was going in and I had a whole bunch of other card swaps in this package. And I just thought it was the Christmas card swap that was coming around. And her package finally showed up. It got put in somebody else's PO box by accident. I think the one above or one below or something like that. I mean, it was just an oops mistake. People make mistakes. And there was no way to track it because the stamps always use tracking numbers. People saves, saves everything. And so I get this car, I get this package of cards and I text her. I'm like, I finally got the cards. They're here. They're here. They're beautiful. And she was so thankful. And I said, I'm just going to hang on to them. Now, this was about a year ago that that had happened. Shamika then texted me and said, I can't do this card swap. And she has done them. I want to say like religiously every card swap for the past like three years. This is the first time that she missed it. Even though she sent the last one, I had the pack. I mean, like I had enough cards. I sent her the cards, the card swap. I didn't want her to feel left out because the package just didn't get to me. Right. So she texts me, she goes, I can't do it. It's just crazy. I can't get it. And I'm like, do you remember the package that you sent to me? It was like a year and a half ago. I still have it. I still have your cards. I have your return envelope. The only thing I need is the return postage. And then she like immediately sent it. I said, do you want me to use the card? Yes. Sent me the money. And it was an anything goes card swap. So it was a win. She had cards already ready to go. So these are the cards from a year and a half ago, or even two years ago now that are finally part of the card swap. So Here's Shamika's cards, ready and waiting for this card swap. It was like perfect timing too. I mean, it worked out in the end and I knew I hung on to that package for a reason. <laughs> fun, fun little story there. There we go. Okay. So these are the cards that she made. They're absolutely gorgeous. And this is happy little moments. I love the color packs and all the colors that she's using here. They're absolutely gorgeous. And they're just layers. There's lots and lots of layers. So she's using all these die cut elements that have come out, layering paper upon paper, using the elements, adding little flowers. This is her own flower down here and just playing with layers. So these are so super pretty. Aren't they gorgeous? Here's another one where she's played with the flower, making the flower the focal point. So here again, pattern papers. This one's added a little die cut element of the, like the, you can see the scalp in the background and then popped up the flower with the word beautiful. This one, we have the gold and the little banner. And then for this one, what she's done for part of the flower is she's added like some glossy accents to it to really make all the leaves pop on there. Like they're wet, like with dew drops or something. So it's really, really, really pretty. Those are really gorgeous. And then these ones are the cutest ones. So she had all these cards that had all these fun little elements. And it was all these animals that were like dressed up as people or the cute deer. And she's just, again, played with the pattern paper in the background put some elements behind it off part of the, you know, like the die cut pack, the heart here, a couple of, this is two more layers of paper. And then these really focal point elements of the animals in the center. And then the love you at the bottom. This one says, I love this life, which is probably cut from the paper pack. You use those sentiments and pieces that are there. They're absolutely gorgeous. And that is the ending. And those are from Shamika. So 
Delayed reaction getting them, but absolutely gorgeous nonetheless. Hello, Kelly. I showcased your cards earlier. I don't know if you were on, but I did get you. So they're in this reveal. Your cards were gorgeous. Oh, I just did your cards. Were you there while I showed your card? These, so Kelly's on, give her some love because she made these awesome pop-up cards. She did that card. She did these cards. She did this really art, cool art journaling card. She did the one with the belly band card. She had some awesome cards. So just take a look. If you came in late, these are all the cards that we went through today that I showcased in this uplifting, positive vibe you know, give you happy, all the feel goods, everything that's about, okay, I'm so glad you were on. These are all about uplifting cards, sending a card to somebody just to make them smile. These are cards that are for no other reason, but you're thinking of them. You want them to have a good day. You're, you know, spreading kindness. That's a big thing right now, you know, spreading kindness at, you know, it loves great it, saying, just saying hello, anything along those lines. If you missed any of these beautiful cards that I'm showing you right now, you can go back and watch the replay. Give all these amazing card makers all of your love. They did such a hard, wonderful job. They work so hard on these cards and they're absolutely fantastic. I get so much inspiration from my videos and my creations and just my everyday creating and crafting from all these wonderful card swaps. And that's the idea is to inspire all of you with everybody else's works of art. Not everybody has a YouTube channel, not everybody has an Instagram, or not everybody is comfortable posting or has time. So I love doing the swaps so you guys can get ideas. And there are so many amazing card makers out there that just don't have the time or the want or the need to have the social media to post it out there. So I, I'm, I, I'm totally blessed that you guys trust me with your amazing works of art to allow me to put it up on in, on YouTube and Facebook so everybody can share how amazing you are because you are. And thank you for being so much part of this swap. If you sent in cards for this swap, thank you, thank you. I still have more to pick up at the PO box. And unfortunately this swap is officially closed, but I will be opening up another one. I'll have two more for this year. We'll do one this summer. And then we also have the really big one which is the Christmas card swap for the 2022 Christmas card or holiday card swap. So all are welcome. A link to join for the Facebook group to be part of the swaps is down below. And I will have a playlist. This is the first video of this particular card swap for the Anything Goes. So the next set of video, the next video will be a different theme because we had lots of different cards that got brought in, probably along the lines of birthday, but sometimes I'll combine because we've had a wide variety. We've always also had sympathy cards. We've had thank you cards, birthday cards, Mother's Day cards, Father's Day cards. So there's a lot of inspiration coming your way with all these amazing cards that are part of this card swap. Thank you guys for being on and all the letting me know that my sound went out and yay lives. And Debbie, thank you so much for all of your awesomeness and telling everybody to hit like. You've been amazing. And like you were my default moderator. <laughs> I absolutely love that. And that was just amazing of you. So thank you guys so much. Debbie has a live coming up. So Debbie, if you guys can see her at, so she's De Debbie Crafting Corner right there. She's got a live coming up with Crafters Workshop. So you need to go check her out. Debbie, put down what day you are doing. And I know it's coming up pretty quick. Put down your day and time and I will put it up on the screen so people can see that. And I hope you guys have an amazing, amazing day. Stay positive. Get out there and create. It's awesome for the soul. Just getting that little bit of moment for yourself to make you feel a little bit better is fantastic. So just waiting for her to put the link up there so I can do it. Thank you guys so much. We got Trisha, Debbie, Kelly, Joshua. Well, Joshua was our little troll today, but whatever. <laughs> Hi, Joshua. Here's some love for you. <laughs> All right. Maybe she's left for the day. I'm not sure if she's still there. All right. Go check out Debbie. So you can click on her and you can check her out. Thank you guys so much. Please stay safe and don't forget, just create. Bye, everybody.